Hi there. Uh, this is something I've, me I've been meaning to do for a while. It's compare my SE X80 wideband vertical antenna that I use for transmitting and receiving on FT8 to the um, Wellbrook ALA 1530 magnetic loop. Um, so I've got two systems set up. Uh, I've got this laptop which is connected to my SDR Play RSP Duo and that is connected to my, uh, you can just see the uh, antenna interface box, the um, Wellbrook ALA 1530. And then uh, the other setup is another laptop, uh, which is connected to the big screen. And that is connected to my Yaesu FT991, which you guys haven't been introduced to yet. Um, but that's another video. Uh, and that setup is connected to my SE X80 uh, wideband vertical via the uh, MFJ 949E ATU. So that's my TX RX setup, uh, and that's the sort of standard setup that I'm using at home. Um, and so what I wanted to do was, um, you know, I'm getting my signals getting decoded on five and ten watts, and it's been decoded in uh, all over, you know, North America. It's been decoded in Australia and New Zealand uh, on ten watts, which is incredible. Um, but I'm still interested to compare uh, the performance of the vertical against the uh, ALA 1530, which is outside in the shed. And so this is the first time I've actually made a direct comparison. So what I'm doing now is I'm looking at this signal. So there's a signal that's come in from Croatia, minus six. Bear in mind that these signal to noise uh, readings are kind of unitless. It's a comparison against the sort of background noise. On the vertical, the same signal is coming in at minus eight. So the signal is stronger uh, via the Wellbrook loop than it is via my uh, vertical, which is the end of which is significantly higher than the roof of the house. Um, so let's wait for another signal to come across. We've got Bosnia Herzegovina. So the Bosnia Herzegovina on this setup is minus 14 and it's actually minus 13 uh, on the wideband vertical. So it's actually slightly better. So there's not, these, there's, there's not huge differences. Um, this signal from uh, European Russia, minus 10 um, is stronger than on the vertical it's coming in at minus 15 uh, and then on the vertical Croatia's coming in again at minus 13 and here it's minus 7 so um, the signal to noise are quite a bit better now bear in mind that signal to noise in measurement is a logarithmic scale so it's, it's not going to be a huge difference but um, uh, Romania minus 4 on the, on the loop and minus 8 on the vertical um, so, quite interesting to compare the two. I, overall, the loop is definitely more sensitive. Even though I have a tuned setup, the um, I'm tuned on. This is on um, 14 megahertz uh, on 20 meters, uh, and the vertical is obviously tuned with um, uh, two 20 meters. Overall, I'm still getting. Oh, this is interesting. So this signal from EU Russia, which is minus 18, is actually minus 14 on the vertical. So it's actually slightly better on the, on the vertical. So the closer to zero or the closer to a positive integer, the stronger the signal. Here, Spain at plus one is minus two on the vertical. So um, slightly stronger on the loop. Like overall, the loop seems to be more sensitive, um, but it's not. There's not a huge difference. So uh, I just thought that was an interesting comparison. So if I start actually transmitting, you, after a few seconds, you'll hear the fans were on my power supply. But I'm just going to, let's see. Um, so if I enable TX now, hopefully we'll see something from England. And it actually, so there you go, you can probably hear the fan. And okay, there I am, plus eight on the loop with 10 watts so bearing in mind that the antenna that's transmitting is only about 30 or 40 meters away from the antenna that's receiving um, but it is only 10 watts so so there you go uh, interesting um, 
Croatia, minus 16 on the loop is minus 15 on the uh, on the vertical, so slightly better on the vertical. Not a lot in it. Um, there you go. I thought it was interesting. Um, I'll say something more about the FT991 um, on another video, but uh, for now, uh, there you go. I just thought that that would be an interesting comparison for those of you that do a bit of DXing, have a magnetic loop, but are also involved in FT8. Um, yeah. Oh well, thanks for watching.